Welcome to Ad Talk with Mary. It is my pleasure today to host Mr. Sebu Gurulian, who is an expert in career guidance. Welcome, pleasure having you. Thank you, Mary. Uh, I would like to thank uh, you first and the program uh, Ad Talk for shedding light on such an important topic. Uh, career guidance is very important, uh, usually, and uh, especially currently with everything that is going on. We should really focus, and hopefully today I would be able to answer all of your questions and also clarify for your audience uh, about the different concerns and about the different questions that they have. Today is the century of confusion, and uh, learners, uh, students, even teenagers and adults are lost whether they are doing the right thing. Uh, are they supposed to choose a major that they like, or that it's a major that they will be good at, or it's a major that they can earn money. And even people who are mid-career, they're still lost. So today's topic will cover about career guidance and maybe we can together come up with a definition and see uh, how we can help all our uh, audience answer this question. So what is career guidance? Uh, when we say career guidance, uh, it is the process of helping, of guiding individuals uh, usually school students, uh, college students, university uh, students who are going to pick their majors or even professionals who are in their beginning of their career or mid-career. Uh, it is guiding them and uh, helping them make the correct educational, occupational choices, taking into consideration the demand and the requirement of the, of the current uh, workforce and uh, even for the future uh, workforce, having in mind that uh, the KG3 students or even uh, the elementary students today are going to graduate in 15 years approximately. So imagine how things would be different uh, when we think about workforce in 2035 or 2040. So we have to take all of these into consideration and make sure that in a way from today, we're trying to cater and guide those students. I believe schools also have very important role as we're preparing learners and uh, we're shedding light on the importance of knowing themselves. And it's part of uh, emotional intelligence and self-awareness that kids through our schools uh, can identify who they are and what they want to do. So what would you tell uh, that uh, is really vital for schools to do now? Uh, unfortunately, uh, current schools, most of the schools uh, are built on programs and they are built on curricula, which reflect, uh, uh, which are preparing and reflecting for the industrialization, which is 19th century or even 20th century. So when we talk about schools and the importance of uh, schools, what they can do today, uh, first of all, we need to talk about the 21st century skills. Uh, we need to talk about uh, preparing lessons based on uh, students, uh, student-centered, uh, or even when we talk about uh, uh, different uh, programs, depending on the uh, multiple intelligences of these kids whenever they enter uh, school. So we would know that automatically uh, schools are being more creative, uh, flexible, and they are uh, trying to give uh, each student the, the, the correct tools and the correct, uh, let's say, uh, knowledge uh, of uh, how they can become successful individuals, but most of all, happy individuals. And when I say happy, uh, doesn't necessarily mean that they should be happy making money. Uh, they should be doing something that they are passionate about, uh, enjoying it, and something that is fulfilling for them, uh, giving a meaning to their lives. The role of schools these days, it's just uh, beyond academic work. And uh, when we say only academic and giving knowledge, the technology changed that fact as well as just like our roles and our jobs are changing with technology, with pandemics and life after Corona won't be the same before. So um, if we are, for example, now currently uh, our children are online and we are home with our kids as parents, how can we help these kids so that they can find their passion? Um, the pandemic uh, or what we uh, witnessed uh, for the last two years was a very good example showing that at any moment, uh, the traditional ways, the classical way that we were used to could be interrupted. So uh, we should have uh, planned, therefore, for more flexibility. We should have planned for becoming 
uh, more active individuals. And uh, automatically, uh, because uh, students, uh, especially currently, they are staying home, parents have a very big role uh, because mainly parents should be the ones detecting the passions of these uh, children. They should be the ones who are going to guide them without forcing anything on them. And this is uh, very important to notice that there is a fine line between forcing something or guiding them. Um, when I say forcing, we shouldn't, as parents, think about labeling our uh, children uh, because automatically uh, it, 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 they fall under a certain category. And uh, in order to uh, get uh, out of that, it's taking a lot of time and effort and energy. For example, uh, if we have kids who are very active uh, at home, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that they are not focusing on their studies. Maybe they have another way of studying. And uh, maybe if we think about the future, these could be our future uh, basketball players, uh, football players, athletes. So not necessarily when we have uh, hyperactivity at one point, uh, we automatically start discussing uh, special education, uh, although each case is different. But uh, when I talk about this, it's very easy to fall in the uh, trap of labeling and categorizing. So parents should be the ones guiding should be the ones giving them the chance, giving the, uh, the children the chance to express, uh, to show their talent, uh, even to acquire the skills that they have. I think as parents, our role is uh, maybe to support them and uh, uh, see the passion, uncover their uh, hidden talent and uh, work with the school so that the school also can invest on the strengths of our children rather than only uh, finding the difficulties or the challenges and focusing on the uh, negative parts. Because these learners will be leading the future. And if we really want new generation, new blood, new open-mindedness into pioneering steps, we need to invest in our learners and through our education. However, let's say um, we are adults now and maybe a few years in career, but we're still not that happy. We're doing things, we're earning salaries, but we're not... Uh, passionate about what we do, we don't wake up and eagerly go to work. What can we do? Um, well, automatically, when we have uh, usually such uh, adults that are in this case, uh, it means that uh, there is something missing and they are not doing something fulfilling or they are passionate about. This is why they say, if you love what you do, you won't feel, you won't feel that you're working uh, in your life. So, uh, it doesn't mean that they have to do drastic changes. Maybe uh, they are like 80% or 70% on the right track, but they are missing that 30%. Uh, in this case, career guidance could be very helpful because automatically it shows them what they are missing. It shows them on uh, which skills they should focus, how they can combine different skills to come up with a, a competitive advantage to their, uh, to their own something that they are very unique for. And this is how they create their own uh, uh, image, uh, career, uh, even uh, something that uh, parents or something that we, whenever uh, we, we were as kids, we didn't know about. And automatically we grew into it as adults. So this is the time that we start changing and thinking about the years ahead instead of thinking about the years that we have invested in that career. So at any time we can change, we can uh, do some fine tuning in order to cope with what we need and what makes us happy. It's never to start uh, dreaming a new dream, wherever our age is, uh, however, and wherever we are in our career steps. I know that you also have your book, Keeping the Heart in Mind, where maybe it's more practical tools that uh, learners, the adults, they can use uh, to uh, identify their strengths, their steps. It's a journey, I think, right? It ends up with major uh, careers, so especially true. learners. So uh, the way that uh, we uh, made the book, the way that I wanted the book to be, is like a pathway. Uh, it starts with self-discovery, knowing ourselves, knowing our element, our passion. And therefore, uh, we have several tasks from a practical point of view. 
uh, anyone who can uh, uh, take the book would notice that there is a, a different, there are different tasks that uh, he or she can do. And automatically from the results, uh, the book will guide them through practical steps of how to be work ready, how to have those skills that uh, they might be missing. So uh, automatically it's like a guideline and uh, eventually talking about different careers. Um, when we are kids, usually uh, we talk more about careers, community work uh, uh, in schools. We notice that uh, from KGs, we start asking our kids, let's say, what do you want to become? Uh, what do you want to do when you grow up? But unfortunately, those questions disappear whenever we are in grade 11, 10, 12. Sometimes whenever we are at the university, uh, we don't have such questions anymore. So this is why the book is there in order to help individuals who are still having questions, still lost, that don't know how to uh, take a certain path in their lives. So the book will help them through that journey. Um, here, I would like also to say that even once we find our uh, journey or our path, we can still uh, bring changes and do new things because it's never too late uh, to really pursue even an old dream and start finding passion and motivation in that. Uh, at the end, I would like to ask you, what would you tell uh, people who are watching you now, uh, people who would like to know what they can do next, what to do, what to focus on? Uh, well, um, definitely, I would ask people to start doing a kind of uh, self-assessment uh, uh, so that they can start knowing themselves what they want to do, because it all starts there. It's not about what my parents want me to do, my neighbors. It's about what I want to do with my life, with myself. Once they do that, it's like a SWOT analysis, knowing our strengths, our weaknesses, our opportunities and threats. Eventually, once we have that SWOT analysis, we would know automatically how to change threats into opportunities, how to start working on our weaknesses. So this is where it is very important for our children, for ourselves to know how to proceed. Not, don't waste time. Um, don't think about negativity. I know that the environment sometimes it's not very encouraging, but uh, you should never give up trying. You should make sure that uh, you're trying to do your best and eventually because you're following what you have in mind things would start falling in place so true uh, at the end i would like to say if people are interested to reserve their copy of the book or to book career guidance session they can contact at talk and uh, at talk with mary and we'll get you in touch with the training session and you can get your own uh, copy of the book as well so that uh, learning never stops and we continue to discover ourselves. We're staying mo uh, motivated, staying positive and growing towards uh, the self-discovery journey of passion, motivation and success and happiness. Thank you so much for being our guest today. And Thank I you. appreciate your input. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mary. And as you said, it's never too late. Uh, I would like to leave with a positive note saying that uh, start dreaming and always dream because uh, once uh, the dreams uh, become true, you have to have practical uh, steps to make them come true. So stop uh, being negative. Uh, don't think much about uh, the environment. Uh, automatically, even in the darkest places, you can see that there is light and there is an opportunity to grow. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you all those who are watching at Talk with Mary now. I wish you positivity. I, I wish you success and let's dream together and make sure that education can bring the change that we want. Subscribe today.